name is Holly. My name is Joni. And we're students at the University of Michigan School of Dentistry. Today we are going to teach you a little bit about oral hygiene. That means how to brush your teeth, how to floss, and what to eat to prevent... Joni, what is that? We are, we are the, the sugar, sugar bugs! We live on your teeth and all over your mouth. There's nothing we love more than the candy and sweets, especially the sticky stuff. The more sugar you eat, like goldfish, gummy bears, and lollipops, makes us super duper full. Too much sugar can make us sick. It makes us throw up acid onto your teeth. Yuck! The acid that the sugar bugs spit up on your teeth causes cavities, and these are little holes in your pretty white teeth. When this happens, you go to the dentist, and they put a little white filling in them to get the sugar bugs under control. So how do we prevent the sugar bugs from eating away at our teeth? Don't give them too much sugar. Exactly! Now what kind of foods do the sugar bugs like to eat? Sugar bugs love foods with sugar. Cookies, candies, crackers, and chips. What about juice? Isn't juice super healthy for me? Well, unfortunately juice is also very high in sugar, but if you do like juice, there's a good way you can drink it, and that would be to mix it with water. Or, after you have some juice, maybe swish some water around your mouth. But just remember that we don't have juice throughout the day. Just with meals is the best option. What are some foods that help protect our teeth against the sugar bugs? Well, things like white milk, cheese, and some certain gums help you fight off some sugar bugs and have stronger teeth. So the sugar bugs are living on my teeth, but I'm not eating too much candy. How can I prevent the cavities? That's a great question. Brushing two times a day and flossing is a great way to prevent cavities. One sugar bug, two sugar bug, three sugar bug, all done! Whoa, 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 we can do better than that. What do you mean I got rid of all of them? The way you brush and floss your teeth is really important and how much toothpaste you use is important too. But we can show you how to do the right way so the sugar bugs don't get your teeth. You should brush your teeth two times a day, once in the morning and once at night for two minutes each time. Make sure when you're brushing, you're using circular motions, making sure to brush the teeth and the gums. Well, what about toothpaste? For all ages, we recommend a fluoride toothpaste. For kids, we recommend a pea-sized glob. For teens and adults, a full-size ribbon. Make sure you spit, spit out your toothpaste when you're done. done. Next, we're going to talk about flossing. We, we know, know how, how to floss. floss. I can see you when you dance, dance, dance. <laughs> Not that kind of flossing. When you floss, you can have your parents help you, but you want to go in between each tooth and give each tooth a little hug before moving on to the next one. Make sure you get every tooth, even the back ones. Floss sticks are a great option too. Make sure to still give each tooth a little hug before moving on to the next tooth. I think I have the tools now to properly fight the sugar bugs. Yay! Thanks for joining us today. We hope you learned something and had some fun with us. Join us for Give Kids a Smile Day in spring 2022. And follow us on Instagram for any updates.